Sorrel Miz and Ada Wayne in at 188.2 pounds. Give it a hand to your hand for the only Miz and Ada. Okay, now I'm going to leave this in the hands of the hype man. You're going to close them out and let the game start. Okay, I think we all came here to watch these two fight. Let's let them do it. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck to both of you. Let's have a clean fight. This is round one of four, four two-minute rounds. Let's see a knockout, boys. Let's see a knockout. Hands up the whole time, bro. Do some long, bud. Are we ready to go? Let's go! Hands up, hands up. Start splitting that. Relax. Ready? 
Let's go. Round two. Up, Follow up. Back. Don't swing wild. Hands up. Sorrell, stop running with your head up. Jam, jam. Pop it again. Split that jam. Well, I love both these guys. I'm watching them go at it. I thought I would really enjoy the punches, but it hurts me a little when they get hit. Because I know it hurts. And I love the pain, but wow. We are halfway home, ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds, quarter. Ten second countdown. Round three of four. Holy shit, give it up for these guys. They got hard. They got balls. They got punches. Let's go, gentlemen. seconds into the third round, we have a champion, his name is Sorel Mizzy. Congrats to both of you, you fought with a lot of heart. Holy shit, Rash, you can take a punch. Mizzy, remind me to never piss you off again. These guys are bleeding in their teeth. What you can't see is their teeth are, and their noses. They're bleeding. They're bleeding these poor guys. <laughs> wow, what a fight. I tell you what, that was worth the wait. Well, let's give it up for these guys. 
good friends, fighters, and the champ, Sorrell Mizzy. Wow. Wow. Rematch one year from today, anyone? Uh, the champ has a few words. Uh, okay, well, first of all, I'm like so shocked how many people showed up. Um, and I wanted to appreciate, uh, I wanted to show appreciation for everyone coming out and supporting a great cause. Uh, Reg Charity is all about using a game theory optimal approach to donating money to people who need it the most to alleviate suffering. And uh, I suggest if that's something that interests you, go to reg-charity.org. I'd like to thank my family here. My brother Marcus, stand up. And my other brother Calvin. And also, I want to thank my mom and dad for creating me. Uh, there was, and uh, what else is there? I guess that's it. Uh, let's party. Where the party at? Where the party at? Let's. Okay, it, and uh, I want to have uh, Brian say a few words. Brian, that was super champ style, crazy. I've never seen you look so ugly, tired, and, and tough at the same time. You, you got blood coming off of you, you fought with heart. It took punches like any one of those punches could take on a normal human. You've been training. Well, first thing I want to say is uh, congratulations to Sorrell. He really gave me everything he had, and uh, when the fight was stopped, I was ready to just keep taking some more punishment, but I gotta take my hat off to him. He definitely beat me fair and square. Good job, buddy. Thank you. I want to thank everybody else here for coming and making this the event that it is right now. And uh, you know what? Through this event, I feel like I've grown closer to Sorrel. I mean, there was a time we had a very intimate conversation a couple weeks back, weeks back when I came over here for the first time. This was an amazing experience. Even though I got my ass handed to me, I, uh, I appreciate everything I had to go through and, and the way that I felt doing this whole thing. I've never done anything like it in my life. I have a new, not that I didn't appreciate people that fight and box before, because I always knew it was hard, but after training for it and going through it and seeing I mean, this was only three or four rounds. Guys that fight five five-minute rounds or three or 12 three-minute rounds. I mean, that's just like another kind of fitness, and I, I just have a new found respect for uh, fighting and how difficult it is. So thank you all, and uh, here's uh, some champions. Thank you. By the way, I, I'm not good at these speech things, and some, sometimes I forget, like, the people to really thank. And, my coach over here, put your hand up, bro. This guy took me from coming in like, are you sure? Are you sure you should be doing that? Should I be doing yoga three times a day? To like what you saw. Coach John Wood, everyone. Like, that was not me. All we are is our genes expressed in our environment. And I put my genes in his environment, and this is what happened. So if you guys want the best coach in Las Vegas, this is your guy. Coach John Wood. Uh, bro, your price just went up. I promise you that. People are going to come to see you. Also, Brian Rass. Holy shit. I gave him my all. I gave him my all. And, like, you know, I, I was sparring with guys who were, like, really tough. And I got punched a few times really hard. So I came in with, like, a lot of confidence. Um, but, wow. Like, he took it like a friggin' champ. I, I want to say Frank because I don't know who's watching on Periscope right now. The whole family might be cuddled up around the, the fireplace. I don't know. But, um, I, like, give it up for Ross. Holy shit. And that's about it, guys. Thank you all for coming out. Um, if you want to donate any extra money, we'll have, like, a little trophy thing. If you want to put, if you forgot to do it or you want to do it now, it's going to be available. So, red-cherry.org. Love you all, thank you very much. And Heather Vaughn, our ring girl, holy shit, how lovely is she? Can you believe I, I dated this girl once? Unbelievable.